I'm going to be judging this game on three criteria. Graphics, character and environmental models as well as level layout. Audio, which includes music and sound effects. Core loop, things that need to be repeated over and over again which can make games addictive or boringly repetitive. Number one, graphics. I'm gonna come out punching and just admit, this game is butt ugly. As a child I liked the way this game looked, was I taken aback by how it looked uglier than the other three games? Yes. But I didn't see it as super awful. Now I want to gag just looking at this game. Angelica here looks worse than she does in the other three PS1 Rugrats games. You do get to play as some of the other Rugrats, but in a more evenly spread out role. You don't play as Angelica more than you play as any of the others, which is a good thing. The movement in this game is heavily restricted though. The fashion mall looks decent. This game basically looks like an animated coloring book with some South Park inspired animation. The wardrobe room looks nice as does the catwalk fashion room, but that's not enough to save this game graphic wise. Number 2 Audio The music is pretty much all original, so I'll give this game a ton of credit for that. Is the music memorable? No. I just got done playing this for two hours and I don't remember a single song, which is sad. At least from the other three games, I remember at least one song from each of them after playing them, even days or weeks or months or years later. Now that I have the new Cynthia Dream Mall fashion show playset, you can be as beautiful and graceful as me, Cynthia. Open! The cartoon voice cast once again returns, which is the saving grace of each of these PS1 Rugrats games. Number 3. Coral Loop. The minigames are absolutely forgettable. The only ones I had a tiny bit of fun with were Phil and Lil catching frogs, Kimmy's follow the leader, and catching the cookies with Angelica. The pinata game is a pain in my arsehole most of the time. Tommy doesn't even move in the direction you tell him to move. The Fluffy's ball of yarn takes forever, but it does look nice? To my eyes, at least. Hiding in the box from Grandpa is frustrating, where not even touching an object wakes the old bastard. <laughs> Chucky's meth lab, while fun, everything moves so slowly. So on and so forth. Phil and Lil catching bugs made my eyes ache from how ugly everything looks in that map. The fashion room is fun to customize Angelica with different outfits and accessories, though, and actually going out on the catwalk and shaking my moneymaker like the kids from Netflix's Cuties movie was fun. Although these aren't all the minigames, if I went through all of them, this video would take way longer to make, and the ones that aren't mentioned are nearly the same as all of these with slight remixes to playstyle, and I don't want to relive playing any of this game. I'd give this game a 1 out of 5. It was so bad I could not even finish it. I borrowed the ending cutscene from Phobius's VGM YouTube channel. Check him or her out and sub to them. The only reason why this game got a 1 is because of the completely original music and the wardrobe room and catwalk looking pleasant to my eyes. This game is completely forgettable. A slight improvement from Rugrats in Paris is that instead of having only one cutscene, this game has two. If only it looked and sounded as good as the first two games. But it doesn't. 
It's totally lame. Totally sucks. Totally Angelica.